Reverend Insanity Chapter 1276 Perseverance of the Miniman So impressive, this goo formation can actually control reverse flow river. Flood Extremity looked at the pillar of light and praised sincerely. But Black Extremity shook his head. This is not control, I merely created the fate reversing sacrificial refinement formation. It is like digging a river channel and letting reverse flow river move in it. We dug the river channel, thus, we can influence the direction that reverse flow river goes. When we retrieve reverse flow river, longevity heaven will gain another secluded domain of heaven and earth. Flood extremity anticipated. Black extremity instructed again. When we collect reverse flow river, the sub-formation will be destroyed. You have to take note of the time and direction, opening your immortal aperture and letting the river flow in. You are a water path goo immortal, you have a big advantage in doing this. Flood extremity was troubled. What if reverse flow river changes direction? Are there really no goo worms in this world that can control reverse flow river? Black extremity frowned slightly. Well no, there isn't, but maybe not necessarily, there might be another possibility. What do you mean? You know the contents of the legends of Renzu. It stated that, Renzu sighed, as long as he had that immortal goo, he would conquer reverse flow river. You mean immortal goo perseverance? No way, perseverance immortal goo has never appeared before. In my opinion, that story is only telling us to persevere in cultivating and to never give up easily. The Legends of Renzu, Chapter 4, Section 26 Renzu's daughter, Boundless Forest Samsara, was trapped inside Ordinary Abyss. She made friends with a Miniman. The Miniman brought Boundless Forest Samsara to see his home City Well. After Boundless Forest Samsara saw City Well, she raised her head at the sky. I understand now. Boundless Forest Samsara looked above her. She was trapped inside Ordinary Abyss. She was just like the Minimen who were trapped under the well. The Minimen raised their heads and saw the sky within the well. It was like the sky that Boundless Forest Samsara saw when she looked up at Ordinary Abyss. I have decided, I will work hard and get out of this abyss to meet with Father again. Boundless Forest Samsara raised her fists, making up her mind. The Miniman was overjoyed. Sure, I want to leave Ordinary Abyss and see the world outside as well. I see that there are many trees here in Ordinary Abyss. We can chop them down and make a ladder to climb up. Boundless Forest Samsara gasped, looking at the Miniman. Oh Miniman, don't you have wings? Why can't you fly out? The Miniman smiled bitterly. Oh, human, I might have a pair of wings, but they are flimsy and weak. They can only carry me for a short distance. When I left City Well, I also used a ladder. So that's it. Boundless Forest Samsara realized. In the following days, she stayed with the Miniman, chopping trees and creating a ladder. Trees were chopped down one by one. Wisdom goo flew out from them. Boundless Forest Samsara was shocked. Wisdom Goo, why are you here? Wisdom is hidden in the ordinary, of course I can be here. Wisdom Goo answered. Next, Wisdom Goo said, You are all very smart. You know how to use the achievements of predecessors to escape from being ordinary. But if you too want to leave Ordinary Abyss, you need to build your own ladders and complete them alone. Otherwise, you cannot leave. Boundless Forest Samsara quickly nodded, Oh, Wisdom Goo, thanks for reminding us, we will take note. She and the Miniman made their own ladders. The ladders became taller and taller. Soon, Boundless Forest Samsara's ladder surpassed the Miniman. The Miniman's ladder was short and small. The distance between each step was also small. In comparison, Boundless Forest Samsara's ladder was long and tall. Boundless Forest Samsara teased the Miniman. Miniman, oh Miniman, the ladder I make in half a day is as tall as the one you make in half a month. At this rate, when can you make a proper ladder to step on and escape from ordinary abyss? The Miniman was helpless. I can't help it. I am already doing my best. 
But this is all the wood I can carry after spending half a day, while you only need one hand to carry this over. I need to use a long time to chop down a small tree, but you only take three swings. I am already doing my best to reach this extent. Boundless forest Samsara nodded. It is a pity we can only make our own ladders. The Miniman replied, That's right, to leave ordinary abyss, we can use our predecessor's achievements, but we truly need to rely on ourselves. Let's continue working hard. Boundless forest Samsara and the Miniman continued to chop down trees to make their ladders. Trees fell one by one, from within, strength goo flew out. Boundless forest Samsara was shocked. Oh strength goo, why are you here? Strength is hidden in the ordinary, of course I can be here. Strength goo answered. Boundless forest Samsara thought about it and asked, Oh strength goo, can you give us any advice? Like wisdom goo. Strength goo said, I have no advice to give you, but I can grant you great strength, as long as you give me your youth. Boundless forest Samsara fell into hesitation. Strength Gu said, According to your current strength, when will you be able to build a ladder tall enough to escape ordinary abyss? Boundless forest Samsara thought, Very long, I will need twenty to thirty years. Strength Gu said, Yes, by then, you will no longer be young, you will lose your youth and became middle-aged, rather than that, you might as well give me your youth even though you will become middle-aged, you only need a few years to build the ladder. Boundless forest Samsara thought about it and nodded, You are absolutely right, Strength Goo, I will rely on you. Thus, Boundless forest Samsara obtained Strength Goo, her speed in building the ladder became very fast, she could chop more trees at once. A year later, her ladder was extremely tall. She stood at the top of the ladder and looked down. She saw that the trees were very small, the grass was a field of green, she was very happy. So when I stand at a high point, things that are big usually will become small. It is just like City Well. She looked down at the Miniman's ladder, it was very short, less than 1% of hers. She pouted. Boundless forest Samsara walked down and said to the Miniman, why are you still so slow? My ladder is already so tall. The Miniman looked at her ladder in admiration, saying helplessly, I really admire you, your strength surpassed me to begin with, but now you also have strength goo. It is too bad that I have no help, I can only rely on myself. I have already tried my best, every day, other than eating and resting. I spend all my time building this ladder, but it cannot match yours. Boundless forest Samsara nodded, that is natural. Another year passed. Boundless forest Samsara continued to build the ladder even taller. She stood at the peak and looked down. The trees were like grass, while everything smaller than trees could not be seen clearly. She looked at the Miniman's ladder. Even though it was taller than most trees, it was less than one thousandth of hers. Boundless forest Samsara walked down the ladder, laughing at the Miniman. Miniman, oh Miniman, stop wasting your efforts. Your strength is too low. You will not be able to build that ladder even if you spend an entire lifetime. You might as well use this time to enjoy your life. Actually, you are already very amazing. Compared to those Miniman, you actually walked out of city well. You should just enjoy your life now. The Miniman thought about it and shook his head. I am not satisfied with being ordinary. When I am not happy with being ordinary, being ordinary would be like an abyss to me. I want to go out. Even if I cannot succeed, I want to try. If I do not try hard enough, I will not be happy. Thus, the Miniman continued building his ladder. The third year passed. Boundless forest Samsara's ladder was extremely tall. She stood at the peak and looked down, only to see that clouds were blocking her vision. She wanted to look at the Miniman's ladder, but she could barely see it. It was less than one ten-thousandth of her ladder. Boundless forest Samsara sighed, she felt lonely. When the wind blew, she shuddered, feeling cold. So when I stand at this tall point, not only will I feel lonely, I will also feel cold. 
boundless forest Samsara walked down the ladder and told the Miniman about this. The Miniman shook his head. My ladder is not tall enough. I don't know how you feel. Boundless forest Samsara felt bored. She continued to build the ladder, but the time she spent on it was decreasing. Strength Goo asked her, Oh human, why are you not building your ladder? Boundless forest Samsara answered, The ladder is too tall and cold, I need to rest and regain warmth. Another year passed. Boundless forest Samsara felt extremely bored. She was still building her ladder, but she was spending less and less time on it. Strength Goo asked her, Oh human, why are you not building your ladder? Boundless forest Samsara answered, The ladder is too tall. When I look down, I get afraid. I need to rest and let my heart calm down. Another year passed. Boundless forest Samsara became even more lazy. Strength Goo asked her, Look at the Miniman. He has never stopped building his ladder. He is giving it his all. If you continue being lazy, he will surpass you one day. Boundless Forest Samsara laughed. How can that be possible? One day of work for me is a month of his. How can he ever surpass me? Like this, years passed without stopping. Finally, one day, the Miniman found Boundless Forest Samsara, who was resting under a tree, saying to her, Oh friend, my ladder is at the edge of Ordinary Abyss. Tomorrow, I will step out and leave Ordinary Abyss. Boundless Forest Samsara laughed. Oh Miniman, don't lie to me, this is too funny. The Miniman shook his head, saying seriously, Grandness and being laughable is merely an inch apart. But I am not laughable anymore, I am grand and can finally leave this Ordinary Abyss. If you do not believe me, watch as I leave. Thus, the Miniman started to climb his ladder. Boundless Forest Samsara was shocked at this. The Miniman was really at the edge of the abyss. He could leave if he continued like this. Boundless Forest Samsara shouted, O oh Miniman, do you not feel cold? The Miniman said, Of course, but I want to build my ladder and climb out of here. Boundless Forest Samsara shouted again, O oh Miniman, do you not feel lonely? The Miniman said, Of course, but I want to build my ladder and climb out of here. Boundless Forest Samsara shouted again, Oh Miniman, do you not feel afraid? The Miniman said, Of course, but I want to build my ladder and climb out of here. After saying those three lines, a bright light flashed on his body, rapidly forming into a goo worm. My name is Perseverance, O oh Miniman, thank you for giving me life. Perseverance Goo thanked the Miniman. The Miniman laughed. Great, even though I do not have strength, I have perseverance. The Miniman said as he climbed out of Ordinary Abyss, stepping into the outside world. He first saw someone. It was Renzu. The rate of time inside Ordinary Abyss was different from the outside world. Renzu sighed as he saw the Miniman. This is Perseverance Goo? What a pity, if I had it, I would have been able to conquer Reverse Flow River. Chapter 1 in 277 Meeting of Ma and Zhao Flood Extremity believed that Perseverance Goo was only a goo worm found in the legends of Renzu. But Black Extremity shook his head, saying, Perseverance Immortal Goo is not a fictitious goo worm. In fact, it has existed before. Flood Extremity was shocked. How did I not know that? This was something I had learned while traveling northern plains. The person who refined Perseverance Immortal Goo was the famous Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable. He was the one who entered the door of life and death and brought Reverse Flow River out into the world. He was the first owner of Reverse Flow River. Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable, is that so? Then why is Reverse Flow River in the hands of old ancestor Zhu Hu? Flood Extremity asked. Black Extremity shook his head. I am unsure about the details regarding this. What is going on? At this moment, there was a loud sound. Inside the fate reversing refinement subformation, some mortal goo had exploded. The pillar of light that the subformation emitted also shrunk by 
This sudden change disrupted their conversation. Flood Extremity became nervous. A portion of the goo formation was destroyed. Aren't you repairing it? Black Extremity shook his head. This situation is within my expectations. Even the fate reversing refinement subformation cannot endure the might of reverse flow river. It will be destroyed. And this formation has a weakness. Once it activates, it cannot be repaired, unless the entire formation stops functioning. Flood Extremity frowned deeply. Reverse flow river has not reached here yet. What do we do now? Black Extremity smiled. Don't worry, I created this formation. How could I not see this coming? In fact, there are benefits in destroying the goo formation. Flood Extremity was confused. The goo formation being destroyed has benefits. Every 10% of destruction would reduce our influence on Reverse Flow River by 10%. The back part of Reverse Flow River will return to normal and stop being drawn to us. That way, it will display its original might and wash out everyone and everything behind. Black Extremity explained. Incredible, Flood Extremity clapped and praised. His eyes were shining. Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun are all at the front. That means, they will be the last to be washed away. Black Extremity nodded, precisely. Inside Reverse Flow River. Lord Bai Chen Tian, three central continent Gu immortals greeted Bai Chen Tian. Bai Chen Tian nodded. At this moment, there were five people gathered around him. With the addition of these three and himself, there were nine people. Did you see Ma Hong Yun or Zhao Lian Yun? The Gu immortals shook their heads. Then did you see this person? Bai Chen Tian described Fang Yuan's appearance and clothing to them. The central continent Gu immortals looked at each other. One of them said, I think I saw him, but I did not stop him. I was hiding behind a floating plank. He swam ahead without noticing me. Bai Chen Tian nodded. Lord, this person is not in our information. Is he an ally or foe? Someone asked. The Central Continent Gu Immortals were very perplexed, because Bai Chen Tian was a Grand Rank 8 Gu Immortal. He would not ask for information about a Rank 7 Gu Immortal for no reason. Speaking of which, Fang Yuan's cultivation level was not outstanding. Most of the Central Continent Gu Immortals were Rank 7. But Bai Chen Tian's following words made all of their hearts shake. He is a strong foe. If you meet him, be very careful. I am merely on par with him in terms of physical brawling. The Central Continent Gu Immortals nodded solemnly. What do we do now? Someone asked. We have many people with us. We will swim up and get rid of our enemies along Reverse Flow River. That would be the best outcome. Bai Chen Tian said this as killing intent surged in him. This was a good tactic indeed. The Central Continent Gu Immortals were not the match of old ancestor Zhu Hu and Purple Mountain True Monarch if they fought normally. Right now, they had lost Edge Link Camp. They were completely outclassed. The sudden change with Reverse Flow River gave them a good chance. Bai Chen Tian felt that, as long as they could make use of this opportunity, they might be able to get rid of their enemies in Reverse Flow River and obtain victory. Hmm, what is going on? At this moment, a certain water path Gu Immortal among the Central Continent Gu Immortals felt a change in the river water. Next, these Central Continent Gu Immortals saw that the water of Reverse Flow River around them started to calm down rapidly from a turbulent state. Finally, the river flow slowed gradually, before starting to have small ripples. Large amounts of rocks and wild beast corpses, which were flowing along the river currents, were washed away rapidly. It was five times faster than the speed of flow earlier. How can this be? Some central continent goo immortals were caught off guard and were washed away by the river. In the blink of an eye, they were 300 steps of distance away from Bai Chen Tian. Bai Chen Tian was the first to react. Quick, swim, do not stop for even a moment. Reverse Flow River has returned to its usual state. If we stop for a moment, we will be washed away by the currents. He called out. Getting Bai Chen Tian's reminder, 
the remaining central continent Gu Immortals reacted and tried to swim earnestly. It is so difficult. The water is flowing slowly and smoothly, but it is actually many times harder than the raging tides earlier. These floating logs and corpses are annoying, they are blocking our paths. The central continent Gu Immortals quickly found that it was far more difficult to swim in this river that had returned to normal. What is this? The higher we swim up reverse flow river, the harder every step is. We need to persevere, we do not need to reach the upper part of the river. As long as we meet enemies, we can kill them. If we kill one rank 8 Gu Immortal, we will be able to obtain victory later. Bai Chen Tian raised the morale. The central continent Gu Immortals cheered in response. This way, Reverse Flow River is our opportunity. Lord Bai Chen Tian, look ahead, to the front, the river is extremely turbulent. Bai Chen Tian heard this and found something weird. He frowned. This was a nightmare. Swimming in this calm part of Reverse Flow River was much harder than swimming in the strong currents. At this rate, as time passes, when the central continent Gu Immortals met the enemies that were washed down by Reverse Flow River, they would already be exhausted and out of stamina. Quick, we need to get in front and swim in the turbulent water. Bai Chen Tian had a grave expression. He gave the most accurate instructions. The central continent Gu Immortals increased their speed in response. Fang Yuan swam in the river. He continued to pursue Ying Wu's eye but he could not find any trace. The river water was turbulent. Huge waves were created from time to time. From within these waves, wild beast corpses and countless rocks would flow along them. The situation in the river was very complex, and most importantly, the river was very wide. Fang Yuan could not get on high ground for observation. Even though he had good eyesight, he could not see much. However, he had found many Gu Immortals, among which there were Central Continent Gu Immortals and also Snowy Mountain Blessed Lands Peak Lords. Fang Yuan avoided them all, he did not deal with them. Fighting these people would waste his time and would not reap any benefits. This river is too wide, I might have passed Ying Wu's eye earlier while I was diving, I might be in front of him. This is totally possible. But Fang Yuan did not give up. Because Ying Wu Zai had a higher chance of being in front. He swam with all his strength, moving agilely in the complex water like a fish. The sovereign immortal body gave him incredible eyesight, stamina, and his recovery speed was on par with rank 8 Gu Immortals, and most importantly, he had practiced his own incredible swimming ability. All these caused him to surpass many Gu Immortals. In contrast, Bai Chen Tian had to keep searching in the river for the other central continent Gu Immortals, he was at the very back. A leopard fox was swimming in the water, charging a Zhao Lion Yun. The leopard fox was smaller than regular leopards, but it could swim, thus, even inside Reverse Flow River, it survived. Go away, Mu Ling Lan slapped as he killed the leopard fox which came. His other arm was grabbing onto Zhao Lian Yun. Zhao Lian Yun was a false immortal created with a phantom aperture. She had low foundation and barely any Dao marks. Without goo worms, she was as weak as a mortal. Thankfully, while she was inside Reverse Flow River, the rank 7 water path Gu Immortal Mu Ling Lan was around her. With Mu Ling Lan defending her, Zhao Lian Yun managed to survive until now. Mu Ling Lan was covered in water path Dao marks. He could actually breathe freely in water. He could also swim well. Along the way, he protected Zhao Lian Yun and resolved crises, while swimming ahead and bringing her along. Quickly look, there is a mound in front. Mu Ling Lan killed the leopard fox and suddenly said this with shining eyes. There was a mound floating ahead in the river. This mound is made of float soil. No wonder it can float on water and not sink. We will go rest there. Mu Ling Lan dragged Zhao Lian Yun along and climbed onto the floating mound with much difficulty. Zhao Lian Yun was extremely tired. She was barely alive. Once she got on shore, she lay down on the mound and stopped moving entirely as she rested. 
Muling Lan was extremely tired. He was breathing roughly. Wait, there's someone on the mound. Muling Lan suddenly stood up with a ruthless expression. Calm down, calm down. A figure had to walk out of the forest on the mound. Muling Lan saw this person and became stunned. Zhao Lian Yun was frozen like a statue. Because the one who appeared in front of them was Ma Hong Yun. All of the immortals were in terrible conditions, but Ma Hong Yun was wearing clean clothes as he chewed on a half eaten fruit. You are Ma Hong Yun, Mu Ling Lan shouted in surprise. Ma Hong Yun took a step back. Are you also here to capture me? Zhao Lian Yun tried her best to get up, as she stood shakily. She looked at Ma Hong Yun. Her throat was moving, but no voice came out. As the price for using Love Goo earlier, she had been using goo worms to speak, but inside Reverse Flow River, no goo worms could be used. At this moment, Zhao Lian Yun finally saw the lover that she had been thinking of for so long. She was extremely agitated. She took a step forward. But at the next moment, she hesitated. How did she look like now? She was clear in her heart. She was no longer young. She was an elderly woman. Her hair was white, her face had deep wrinkles, and she was dry like a twig. In this appearance, could Ma Hong Yun recognize her? Could she meet her lover in this appearance? Could she bear to let him see her like this? Zhao Lian Yun lost all of her courage. She lowered her head, she did not dare to look at Ma Hong Yun's eyes. Zhao Lian Yun was hesitant, but she suddenly heard Ma Hong Yun call out, You, you are Lady Zhao Yun. Zhao Lian Yun's body shook. She raised her head, only to see that Ma Hong Yun had thrown away the fruit as he ran towards her. Lady Zhao Yun, Lady Zhao Yun, I miss you so much, Ma Hong Yun shouted loudly. Mu Ling Lan saw this and felt a lot of emotions. He explained, Fairy Lion Yun became like this because she rushed here from Central Continent to save you. Lady Zhao Yun, Ma Hong Yun grabbed Zhao Lion Yun's hands as he stood before her. He was also unable to speak, his words were choked in his throat. At this moment, Zhao Lion Yun felt, this was truly immense bliss. All of her sacrifices were worth it. Chapter 1278 Dog Tail Life Extending Ferret Boom! A loud sound was heard in the Fate Reversing Refinement subformation. Flood Extremity was no longer surprised. After taking a glance, he looked away. During this period, the Goo Formation's Pillar of Light had shrunken by 50%. This Goo Formation is quite interesting. Right at this time, a voice entered Flood Extremity's ears. Who is it? Flood Extremity was shocked. His Goo Immortal aura burst out as he prepared to use his powerful methods. Little one, don't be afraid, and don't make a move, the voice said again. At this moment, Flood Extremity could not move. He felt like he was in a frozen river. This person was powerful beyond imagination. He was a rank 7 Goo Immortal, one of Longevity Heaven's eight extremities, but he could not react before he was suppressed completely. You are the descendant of Master, as long as you do not attack me, I will not eat you. Hehe. <laughs> The voice said again. Next, Flood Extremity saw a huge, hill-like beast revealing its figure in front of him. This was a four-legged beast with purple fur. It looked like a ferret. It was covered in shiny purple fur. Its eyes were shining with a purple crystal-like color. The most eye-catching thing was its tail. This was not a ferret tail, but a dog tail. A giant ferret with a dog tail. Flood Extremity was stunned before he thought of an existence. Indeed, at the next moment, South Desolation Immortal's letter came from an information path Goo Worm in his immortal aperture he could not leave now. This giant beast was sent here to help. It would deal with any enemy who dares to obstruct longevity heaven. You, you are the dog tail life extending ferret? Ancestor giant son's steed? Flood Extremity stammered. The giant beast nodded before opening its mouth, speaking, Stop calling me a steed, I have my own name too. I am Mao Lai Kiyu, you can call me Grandpa Mao. 
Mao, Grandpa Mao, at the other end, black extremity was also tongue-tied. He was still in great shock. Okay, forget about this goo formation. Let's go to Reverse Flow River and retrieve Ma Hong Yun and that love goo. The dog tail life extending ferret, Mao Lai Kiu, slashed with its claws. Intense winds blew, countless goo worm auras were exposed, forming an immortal killer move. The fate reversing refinement sub formation that Black Extremity had created with much difficulty broke apart, turning into rubble. This, Black Extremity's eyes almost popped out. Stop stammering, is it very fun to disrupt my sleep? Quickly finish this business, your Grandpa Mao has to go back to sleep. The giant ferret, Mao Lai Kiu, said this as it breathed out deeply. This breath flew rapidly, tying up Flood Extremity and Black Extremity. The giant ferret jumped and its huge body flew into the sky. Beside it, Black Extremity and Flood Extremity were pulled along by the special breath, going towards Reverse Flow River. What is going on? The sudden change in Reverse Flow River affected all of the goo immortals in it. After an intense change, the entirety of Reverse Flow River calmed down. The river water became smooth flowing and had small ripples in it. Reverse Flow River went back to normal? Fang Yuan's eyes shone brightly, he felt the pressure intensifying in the river. There was a large amount of junk unable to move on their own, they were washed down by Reverse Flow River. Seeing this, at once, many Gu Immortals chose to go downstream and leave Reverse Flow River by getting to the end. This was the only way to get out of Reverse Flow River. The situation is not looking good. Fang Yuan had not found Ying Wu Zai and Gang. He continued moving forward. In the sky, Bai Chen Tian and the other Central Continent Gu Immortals were looking down at Reverse Flow River. These people were originally trying to swim forward, but Reverse Flow River kept returning to normal as the subformation was destroyed. Bai Chen Tian saw that this was not going well, he could continue, but the other Gu Immortals could not. They went downstream and left Reverse Flow River, flying towards the sky after they got out. But this way, they became outsiders. Any methods used on Reverse Flow River would be reflected back at them. Bai Chen Tian soon found Fang Yuan, who was inside Reverse Flow River. Our fight can be disregarded, as long as you hand over affection immortal Gu. Bai Chen Tian spoke to Fang Yuan. This is the rank 7 Gu immortal who could fight evenly with Lord Bai Chen Tian. How did he cultivate? The other Central Continent Gu immortals looked at Fang Yuan with shock and curiosity. Fang Yuan laughed coldly. He ignored Bai Chen Tian. One of the Central Continent Gu Immortals flew into a rage. Such audacity. You dare to disrespect Lord Bai Chen Tian. Bai Chen Tian snorted coldly. You think I can do nothing to you if you hide inside the river? Before I get washed away, you should worry about yourselves. This is not Central Continent. Fang Yuan replied fearlessly. Bai Chen Tian's key concern was pointed out. His face turned cold as he ignored Fang Yuan. He started to move in the upstream direction. Fang Yuan was a small matter. What was important was Zhao Lian Yun and Ma Hong Yun. Because the dog tail life extending ferret destroyed the sub formation, the complex situation at the surface of the river became easily observable now. The junk was all swept away. Only some Gu immortals were left in the river. Mu Ling Lan, Zhao Lian Yun, and Ma Hong Yun were at the front. The second group were old ancestor Zhu Hu, Purple Mountain True Monarch, and Lady Wan Shu. The third group was rank 8 Gu immortal Wai Ling Yang, as well as some other central continent Gu immortals. The fourth group was Ying Wu Zai and Gang, as well as some snowy mountain peak lords and the fifth group was Fang Yuan alone. When he was swept into Reverse Flow River, he was too far from Snowy Mountain Blessed Land. Thus, he had fallen to the back of the river. Even though he tried to swim upstream, the others were also working hard. Honestly speaking, the situation was quite interesting. Quick, swim forward. 
Mu Ling Lan looked at old ancestor Zhu Hu and Purple Mountain True Monarch who were close behind, he spoke anxiously. The floating mound earlier was already swept away. Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun had to swim forward to avoid getting captured by old ancestor Zhu Hu. The second group of old ancestor Zhu Hu and Purple Mountain True Monarch were chasing after Ma Hong Yun to capture him. The third group, including Wai Ling Yang, also did not want to give up. As long as they stalled old ancestor Zhu Hu and Purple Mountain True Monarch, Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun would have the chance to go downstream and the crisis would be resolved. Ying Wu Zai and the Snowy Mountain Demonic Path Gu Immortals also had the same idea as Wai Ling Yang. They were at the back, but there was still hope. Quickly look to the back, Hai Lu Lan suddenly alerted. Ying Wu Zai turned back and looked, his heart jumped. He actually chased us to this place. This river was calm now, there was no junk left. Everyone's field of vision was clear, thus Ying Wu Zai easily saw Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan still did not know about Purple Mountain True Monarch, even though he could see old ancestor Zhu Hu at this position. Purple Mountain True Monarch was a miniman, he was the size of a thumb and was sitting on old ancestor Zhu Hu's shoulder, it was hard to see him clearly. Fang Yuan had no idea what happened in Snowy Mountain Blessed Land. Even though he met Bai Chen Tian, he had only understood that a battle of rank 8s happened here. As for who had the advantage, would Bai Chen Tian tell him? Thus, Fang Yuan had always thought that killing Ying Wu Zai and Gang would resolve his crisis regarding Shadow Sect. Therefore, after seeing Ying Wu Zai, his eyes shone as he swam even more quickly towards Ying Wu Zai. He is our enemy? A snowy mountain peak lord sneered at Fang Yuan. Let's work together and kill him. Outside, the situation is complex with countless Gu immortal methods available. But here, he is all alone. He is just one person. Once he said that, the Gu immortals were ready to attack. Ying Wu Zai was moved too. If they could kill Fang Yuan now and obtain his sovereign immortal body, it would be a great opportunity. However, the sovereign immortal body is not easy to deal with. I should meet up with Lord Purple first. Our main body is still in the dream realm after all. Ying Wu Zai thought about it and decided to play safe. Come with us, we will meet up with Ancestor Zhu Hu. He is not important, our biggest enemy is Central Continent. Ying Wu Zai did not expose Fang Yuan's foundation. He successfully diverted the attention of the Snowy Mountain Gu Immortals. That's right, let's meet with Old Ancestor. Snowy Mountain's Peak Lords could not go downstream now. Because a rank 8 Central Continent Gu Immortal was in the sky. Once they left Reverse Flow River, they would need to face off against a rank 8 Gu Immortal. They had to stay in Reverse Flow River for now. But soon, they realized that it was not easy to stay in Reverse Flow River. In this special environment, if they could not move forward, the river would push them backwards. In the past, Ren Zhu had failed in Reverse Flow River. He had failed at the final step before success. Nobody thought that they could achieve what Ren Zhu did. But in this situation, every wave of Gu Immortals had their own reasons to remain in Reverse Flow River. Ma Hong Yun, you cannot escape. Old ancestor Zhu, who had a cold gaze as Lady Wan Shu smiled continuously. Quick, quick. They are catching up. Mu Ling Lan and Ma Hong Yun dragged Zhao Lion Yun along from either side. Fairy Lion Yun, hang on. We are going to reach soon, Wai Ling Yang shouted. Ying Wu Zai was behind them, waiting to strike. He felt a headache regarding Fang Yuan at the back. He needed to move forward more quickly to fight for more time later. Ying Wu Zai, Fang Yuan was shortening his distance with Ying Wu Zai. Soon, the first person to be unable to persevere appeared. It was one of Snowy Mountain's peak lords. He had used up all his stamina. He floated backwards with a pale expression. Fang Yuan avoided him. Now was not the time for that. If he stopped for a moment, he would be pushed backwards as well. Even if he killed the enemy, 
his progress would be greatly affected. Be careful, in the sky, Bai Chen Tian shouted. I finally caught up. You little rats. Old ancestor Zhu who was already right behind Zhao Lian Yun's group. Zhao Lian Yun knew that she had no strength left, if this continued, she would only burden Ma Hong Yun. She gave Ma Hong Yun one last affectionate look. She suddenly mustered her strength and broke free from his grasp, swimming towards old ancestor Zhu who instead. Chapter 1E279 Fervently Approaching Death Mu Ling Lan, behind old ancestor Zhu Hu, Wai Ling Yong shouted angrily. Mu Ling Lan was already resolved. He gritted his teeth, moving even more quickly than Zhao Lian Yun. He pushed the weak Zhao Lian Yun into Ma Hong Yun's arms. You have to live well. Saying this, he turned around and grabbed old ancestor Zhu Hu's waist. Old ancestor Zhu Hu struggled intensely but he still stopped moving forward and was pushed away by the river. The danger for Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun was averted. Quick, quickly go! Ma Hong Yun held on to Zhao Lian Yun as his heart beat rapidly. Meddlesome fool, old ancestor Zhu who hated Mu Ling Lan to the core, he kicked Mu Ling Lan's chest several times in the water. His Dao marks far surpassed Mu Ling Lan's. Mu Ling Lan was rank 7, how could he possible match him? Soon, his bones were broken, he was spitting out blood, dying the water red. More than 10 breaths of time later, Mu Ling Lan could not take it anymore, he stopped breathing as he lost his life. Seeing that their companion had died like this, the Central Continent Gu Immortals were all anguished. Mu Ling Lan, Central Continent will remember your sacrifice, Heavenly Court will remember it. Wai Ling Yong called out, charging at Old Ancestor Zhu Hu. Old Ancestor Zhu Hu was stalled by Mu Ling Lan, he had fallen behind to the third group. He was immediately attacked by the furious and upset Central Continent Gu Immortals. Zhu Hu, Lady Wan Shu was worried about her husband, she quickly went to help him. Both sides fought for a while, they were pushed backwards and quickly encountered Ying Wu Zai and the others, who were the fourth group. As a result, a large number of Gu Immortals were fighting in this river, it was a chaotic scene. Bai Chen Tian and the rest were watching in shock. Grand Gu Immortals had lost their sagely demeanor, they were fighting in the water like brutish mortals. But it was too late for Bai Chen Tian to interfere now. Soon, blood dyed the surroundings as many Gu immortal corpses flowed down the river. Ying Wu Zai, Fang Yuan joined the group, he had finally arrived. Where is our lord? Ying Wu Zai finally found old ancestor Zhu who amidst the chaos, he asked this loudly. Upstream, old ancestor Zhu who answered. It turned out that while old ancestor Zhu Hu and Mu Ling Lan were fighting, Purple Mountain True Monarch had swam upstream to capture Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun. Precisely because of this, old ancestor Zhu who could fight with the Central Continent Gu Immortals, this was his plan to obstruct the enemies. Ying Wu Zai got his answer and quickly swam with Hai Lu Lan and the rest, away from the fighting as he went towards Purple Mountain True Monarch. Fang Yuan called out, Ying Wu Zai, where are you going? Ying Wu Zai sighed, saying, Tai Bai Yun Sheng. All of you leave first, Tai Bai Yun Sheng shouted. He charged at Fang Yuan with a resolute expression of someone disregarding death. Fang Yuan was obstructed. Ying Wu Zai, Hai Lu Lan, and Bai Ning Bing managed to escape. Bam Bam Bam. Fang Yuan's attacks were powerful. Tai Bai Yun Sheng soon had broken bones and fractures. But Tai Bai Yun Sheng was resolved. He stalled Fang Yuan and grabbed onto him. He even used his teeth to bite and head to slam. Fang Yuan could not break free for a period of time. In this urgent situation, he exclaimed, Old Bai, do you still remember Imperial Court Blessed Land? Tai Bai Yun Sheng was stunned. He exposed a flaw. Fang Yuan's eyes shined with a ruthless light. His fingers pierced into Tai Bai Yun Sheng's eyes without mercy. 
Tai Bai Yun Cheng was heavily injured, blood was pouring out of his eyes. Fang Yuan used this chance to unleash the finishing blow as Tai Bai Yun Cheng stopped moving entirely. He was dead. HMPH, Fang Yuan shrugged off Tai Bai Yun Cheng's corpse as he continued to swim, chasing after Ying Wu's eye. During this period, the groups with old ancestor Zhu Hu and Wai Ling Yang were engaged in fierce battle. They had finally separated as both sides suffered great losses. Bai Chen Tian looked at Reverse Flow River from above. He could see the situation clearly. Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun were still at the lead. Purple Mountain True Monarch was at the second position. Ying Wu Zai and the other two were the third. Fang Yuan was fourth. Old ancestor Zhu Hu and Lady Wan Shu were the fifth. Wai Ling Yang and the other Central Continent Gu Immortals were sixth. Bai Chen Tian was anxious. The Central Continent Immortals were in an extremely disadvantageous position. Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun were in front, but there was no longer anyone protecting them. The second-placed Purple Mountain True Monarch was an enemy, while Ying Wu Zai and Gang were vicious members of Shadow Sect. The fifth-placed old ancestor Zhu Hu and Lady Wan Shu were also out of the question. Without any choice, Bai Chen Tian could only approach Fang Yun. You just need to protect the lives of those two in front. You will obtain the friendship of Central Continent and Heavenly Court. You can request anything. Do you want immortal goo or cultivation resources? Will my great central continent not be able to satisfy you? As long as you help to protect Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun. This again, Fang Yuan heard this and sighed internally. He thought of Imperial Court Blessed Land. Back then, he had to make a choice too. If he chose to save Ma Hong Yun, it would have been extremely profitable for him. And now, the situation was quite similar to back then in Imperial Court Blessed Land. But Fang Yuan remained silent. He only continued swimming. He was bent on eliminating Ying Wu Zai and Gang now. Forget about Ma Hong Yun. He could bugger off. But what followed was a long stalemate. The further one traveled up Reverse Flow River, the harder it was to keep going. Stamina and Dao marks were secondary. It was a test of one's will. Lady Zio Yun, we need to persevere. I believe that there will be a chance. Ma Hong Yun continued to speak, encouraging Zhao Lian Yun. The river water was icy cold, but inside Ma Hong Yun's embrace, Zhao Lian Yun felt immeasurable warmth. This warmth was a huge driving force for her. She gritted her teeth and persevered on. Behind them was Purple Mountain True Monarch. Ma Hong Yun, Zhao Lian Yun, he he, as long as I catch you, I will be able to restrain old ancestor Zhu Hu. At that point, I will get him to deal with Southern Border's Super Dream Realm. Purple Mountain True Monarch was planning deeply. Protect Lord Purple, Ying Wu's eye was worried. Dear, dear, wake up. Something happened to old ancestor Zhu Hu's group. Lady Wan Shu had fainted. She was heavily injured in the battle. After enduring and persisting for a while, she fainted. Old ancestor Zhu who was flustered. He gritted his teeth and stopped swimming. He carried Lady Wan Shu as reverse flow river swept them away. Wai Ling Yang allowed him to leave. They wanted to have one less competitor. Old ancestor Zhu who quickly left reverse flow river, he used his Gu Immortal methods to stabilize Lady Wan Shu's condition. Bai Chen Tian was nervous. He could not deal with old ancestor Zhu Hu alone. The Gu Immortals around him, without any immortal Gu houses, could not interfere in a rank 8 fight. I will kill you first, old ancestor Zhu Hu carefully placed the unconscious Lady Wan Shu in his immortal aperture. Next, he charged at Bai Chen Tian. He was the number one person in Northern Plains' demonic path. He was a ruthless person. How could he give up this chance to deal with these weakened opponents? It's only death at worst. Bai Chen Tian was resolved to die. He neither evaded nor dodged. But right when the two rank eights were about to fight, they felt an intensely strong aura. 
The hill-like dog-tailed purple ferret carried flood extremity and black extremity as they arrived at the bank of Reverse Flow River. Chapter 1 280 Perseverance Outside Reverse Flow River Old Ancestor Zhu who wanted to kill Bai Chen Tian, but at this moment, the dog-tail life-extending ferret, Mao Lai Qiu, appeared. Why is this ferret here? Doesn't it stay inside its cave all the time? Old Ancestor Zhu who was surprised. This ferret had a huge origin. It was Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's steed. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had subdued it in his later years. His motive was clearly to find a lifespan extension method. The dog tail life extending ferret's Dao marks were very numerous and mystical. As it grew older, the dog tail would shrink as its lifespan decreased. When its lifespan nears its end, the tail would vanish. Thus, whenever it sensed that its life was ending, it would devour an immemorial desolate beast dog. After consuming it, the dog tail life extending ferret would gain the lifespan of this immemorial desolate beast dog. Its tail would grow out and it would continue living. Precisely so, even after Giant Sun Immortal Venerable died, the dog tail life extending ferret still lived until now. This giant ferret was enlightened by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, it gained intelligence and learned to use goo worms and even immortal killer moves. It was an immemorial desolate beast to begin with. Now that it had wisdom and could use immortal goo and other methods, it had unfathomably deep strength. Even old ancestor Zhu who was wary of it. Old ancestor Zhu who had wanted to deal with Bai Chen Tian, but with the dog tail life extending ferret's appearance, he discarded this plan. To think that Mao Lai Qiu would save me. Bai Chen Tian let out a breath of air. He relaxed slightly. He also knew about the dog tail life extending ferret. Immemorial desolate beasts of this level were too famous. It was like Central Continent's Huo Kong, or that evil dragon Di Zhang Sheng. They were unique existences. Their battle strength was at the peak of rank 8. Old Ancestor Zhu, who quickly focused his gaze on the two longevity, heaven goo immortals accompanying the dog tail life extending ferret. Old Ancestor Zhu, whose gaze focused on black extremity. He chuckled coldly. As expected, Sun Ming Lu, you are a member of Longevity Heaven. To think that Longevity Heaven had targeted me since so long ago. He had already made a guess earlier. Now that he saw Black Extremity, it was confirmed. Black Extremity greeted Old Ancestor Zhu Hu respectfully. Old Ancestor Zhu Hu, we meet again. I am one of Longevity Heaven's eight extremities, Black Extremity. Sun Ming Lu is simply a name I use when I travel in Northern Plains. Old Ancestor Zhu who chuckled coldly again, but he did not attack. Because Black Extremity was beside the dog tail life extending ferret. It was not like Old Ancestor Zhu who feared Mao Lai Qiu, but he knew that the crux of this issue was not the three of them. It was the events in Reverse Flow River. With the situation in Reverse Flow River unconfirmed, it was not time to fight. A third party would benefit if he did. After Black Extremity and Old Ancestor Zhu who exchanged greetings, their gazes became fixed on Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun. Grandpa Mao, the two at the front are our targets, Black Extremity reminded the dog tail life extending ferret. Bai Chen Tian frowned slightly. Old Ancestor Zhu whose cold laughter became even colder. But Mao Lai Qiu nonchalantly curled its lips. Its beast face made a very human-like expression. No rush. Wait for them to decide a victor. We are outside Reverse Flow River. We can use goo worms, but we cannot affect the river itself. Any method used on Reverse Flow River will be reflected back upon us. Why would I waste my effort? Reverse Flow River would only lose some water when it reflects an attack. This river is huge. How long would it take to dry out this river? I would not do something so time-consuming and pointless. Saying this, it paused before saying, Don't worry, these people can't continue for long. The further they swim, the more it tests their will. Hee <laughs> hee, they are swimming in Reverse Flow River. 
Any thoughts of persevering in this river would be reversed by the river. Any sort of determination would waver. They would eventually be washed away by the river. The three rank eight existences were wary of each other. They did not fight. Outside the river, there was a deadlock. The goo immortals thus looked towards reverse flow river. Inside the river. Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun were still at the lead. Purple Mountain True Monarch was second. He was inching closer to them. Ying Wu Zai, Bai Ning Bing, and Hai Lu Lan were third. Next was Fang Yun. The fifth position was originally Old Ancestor Zhu Hu and Lady Wan Shu, but earlier, Old Ancestor Zhu who had given up the contest for the sake of his unconscious wife, he went outside the river. Thus, the fifth position went to Heavenly Court's rank 8 rule path, Gu Immortal Wai Ling Yang, and several Central Continent Gu Immortals. Purple Mountain True Monarch moved with all four limbs, flapping his thin wings at times. Ma and Zhao were already close by. I need to persevere and capture these two. I will be able to control old ancestor Zhu Hu and deal with Central Continent. Purple Mountain True Monarch was filled with determination. Reverse Flow River's water continued to assault the will in his mind. He shrugged his head, trying to get rid of his hesitation. Ninety thousand years ago, Heaven's will attacked. I deduced with all my effort and found a trace of hope for survival. By sealing myself, I turned into a purple gold rock. But to think that Heaven's will would still harm me, and I would go into a crazy state at times. These last hundred thousand years, I woke up many times and experienced great danger. I only escaped from danger and survived with shadow sex help. Right now, my main body refined sovereign immortal aperture, but it was stolen from us. My main body is stuck in the dream realm, being in great danger. The great shadow sect is just a shadow of its past. I cannot fail in this situation, I need to persevere. I need to capture Zhao and Ma. I am about to succeed. Purple Mountain True Monarch's eyes were shining. He was extremely close to the two. Oh no, Purple Mountain True Monarch is about to reach Ma Hong Yun and Zhao Lian Yun. The Central Continent Gu Immortals were shocked. Old ancestor Zhu Hu and Ying Wu Zai had expressions filled with joy. What do we do? Flood Extremity shouted. Nothing. Mao Lai Qiu rolled its eyes, unless they come out. Ah! But at this moment, Purple Mountain True Monarch suddenly grabbed his head as he screamed. He struggled intensely as he showed intense pain on his face. What is going on? What happened? The immortals were perplexed. At this very moment, damn it, Ying Wu Zai internally cursed heaven's will. At the crucial moment, Purple Mountain True Monarch fell into madness. He went downstream with the currents. Thankfully, Ying Wu Zai and Gang were following Purple Mountain True Monarch as insurance if he went crazy. He quickly grabbed Purple Mountain True Monarch as the four swam upstream together. Thus, Ma and Zhao escaped from the dangerous situation. They were still in first place. Purple Mountain True Monarch had fallen behind becoming second place with Ying Wu Zai and Gang. Third was Fang Yun. And fourth was Wai Ling Yang and his central continent Gu Immortals. Lord Wai Ling Yang, it all depends on you now, Bai Chen Tian was overjoyed. The central continent Gu Immortals also started cheering. It was good news to central continent that something happened to Purple Mountain True Monarch. Especially those Gu Immortals who did not know Fang Yun. They felt that right now, only Central Continent's rank 8 Wai Ling Yang was left. Even though he was in last place, he could still win. Wai Ling Yang was gritting his teeth. The difficulty of swimming was rising, and more importantly, the reverse flow river was affecting his every thought. Any thoughts of persevering and swimming ahead would be obstructed by reverse flow river. Many thoughts were washed away. But there was one thought that was rooted in Wai Ling Yang's mind. I need to persevere. I am the only hope left in Central Continent. If we capture Ma Hong Yun and save Zhao Lian Yun, we will be able to return victorious. I cannot fail. Central Continent's pride 
heavenly court's honor, they cannot be lost because of me. Wai Ling Yang swam ahead stably without any hesitation. The Gu immortals around him also followed. These Gu immortals formed the biggest force in Reverse Flow River, it was eye-catching. Even the dog-tail life-extending ferret, Mao Lai Q, said, Oh, it seems that Central Continent has a huge advantage. HMPH, Heavenly Court still likes meddling so much. This will not do. Ma Hong Yun is a northern plainsman. Bai Chen Tian frowned. He looked at Mao Lai Kiyu, and old ancestor Zhu Hu whose face was cold as ice. He was worried. Even if Wai Ling Yang defeats the competitors and obtains Ma and Zhao, what will happen after he leaves Reverse Flow River? Bai Chen Tian thought from all angles. He could not find a way to escape. He could only continue watching. Time passed by the seconds and minutes. The situation was still the same in Reverse Flow River. Ma and Zhao were first. Ying Wu Zai and Gang were second. Fang Yuan was third. And Wai Ling Yang and the other Central Continent Gu Immortals were fourth. The positions did not change, but their mutual distances had evidently shrunk. Oh, these people have all lasted until now. Strange, why are there so many outstanding people here? The dog tail life extending ferret, Mao Lai Q, quipped, As expected, the great era is coming, in an era which would create a venerable, a great number of geniuses and talented individuals would emerge like a tide. Bai Chen Tian's eyes were shining too. He was assessing the central continent Gu immortals and memorizing their faces. These people had firm determination. If they grew without any accidents, they surely would be important pillars of each sect. Persevere. The mission of protecting Fairy Lion Yun is in my hands. I cannot give up. Bu Zhen's I frowned. Just like refining Gu, no matter how tough it is, or how unpredictable the results, as long as I persevere, I will be rewarded. Yu Yi Yi Zai encouraged himself. Shi Yi had an angry expression. Lord Mu Ling Lan was sacrificed to protect Fairy Lion Yun. How can I back down? Work harder, Shi Yi. For the sake of love and justice, you cannot back down. Fang Yuan was expressionless. He stared ahead at Ying Wu Zai. Such a close relationship. That rank 8 Miniman Gu Immortal who went crazy must be a member of Shadow Sect. I must kill him. I must eliminate them all. Inside Reverse Flow River, it is the best opportunity for me to eliminate these threats once and for all.